container registries are a great way to share your packaged applications and services with the world. There are multiple container registries online where you can pull container images providing various services, frameworks or applications into your own container-based projects, so you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Many of these images are from open source projects to which you can step up and contribute if you wish to. You can use these registries for private images too, for when you're working on non-public projects either for work or after hours. Almost all of these container registries provide different crucial features like versioning, feature flags, authentication against the container registry to restrict access for your image. These registries help you manage, organize and provide access to your images when you're deploying your applications and services to a container-based platform such as Kubernetes. In your deployment YAML, you can simply configure the address of the container image within the registry and declare the image pool policy. Some of the big container registries are Docker Hub and GitHub Container Registry. As you can see, it is fairly easy to use the Docker APIs to push a container image to the GitHub Container Registry. The same way you could push a container image to Docker Hub or any other container registry. Container registries help you have direct access to your published container image and, as described, make it easy to manage these for your private purpose and public consumption. Having that package available within the package registry makes it easy to pull it via the Docker APIs into your container-based projects at any time. The APIs let you define which version of the available package you want to pull, if available. Here you can see that the latest version can be pulled using the docker pull command. Now that the container image is published within a package registry, a Kubernetes deployment can be used to pull that container image and start it as an application or service within your Kubernetes cluster.